Lester. We've got a cover. Well, that's one way to surprise an opponent. Going all the way up. Beautiful sent on. May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women gets so... She might have it. She better do something fast. She gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote-unquote committee nonsense cost her girls the match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the disarmor, there was nothing for the Staten Island Princess to do but to tap out. And it didn't take long for that to happen. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Golly! Incredible axe kick! That'll mess up the back of your neck. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have may be the difference between a win and a loss, maybe even more. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE Locker Room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express a strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. This might be it! Oh, my! Boom! <laughs> what an incredible moonsault! Boom! Oh, impact! She's starting to feel the pressure. You can see her partner wants to get tagged in here. Guys, we're not used to seeing her like this. I wonder how she's gonna respond here. What a stomp! Good grief! What a stomp! Good grief! Beautiful technique. We're looking at complete domination here. Oh, that's the impact. Oh. Oh.
Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the Tag Team Title Tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural Tag Team Champions. Beautiful technique. There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. And at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand, but Rhino and Heath Slater refused to lose. After a score from Rhino practically cut Jimmy Uso in half, Rhino and Heath Slater went from an unlikely tag team. I think we know. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, it's over. Oh, what impact. This one's over, guys. Oh, what impact. Shoulders on the mat. Gets the shoulder up. Wow. What's it going to take? Looking for the exclamation point. Oh, no. We know what this is. I can't believe she kicked out there. Look at her go. Stop pulling the leg snap. Well, that's going to hurt. Tear your hamstring. you got to believe this one's over. <laughs> this is it. Nailed it. This one is up. Is that enough for the win? There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop. They did it. Wow, what a match!